In this exercise, we're going to create watersheds along our design road and let InfraWorks calculate and place culverts when needed. Using the Create Watersheds command, we're going to see a warning that lets us know that uh, watershed analysis does consume Autodesk Cloud credits. Going to OK through that and then select my design road. I'm not going to change the default values for grid spacing or stream threshold. I'll hit enter and InfraWorks will prepare the data, upload it, and go through the calculation process. Now it's going to generate the watersheds and stream networks. I get a message that it was computed correctly. And you can see there I have the blue lines that go across, uh, the black lines that go across the road. Those are my streams. Uh, the blue shapes, those are points of interest that are placed where culverts are needed based on the computations. So I can see in this particular location I have uh, two culverts that I'm going to need to place relatively close together. But before I do that, I'm going to edit the watershed and specify the hydrology method that I would like to use. That's the properties for the point of interest. Let's go to the watershed itself. Instead of using the user-defined hydrology method, I'm going to select Edit and then change that to Regression. You'll notice that my data fields change. I need to specify the state where we're working as well as the region. I'm going to select Alabama and use the Peak Statewide Small Stream 2004 region that's included with InfraWorks. Now that I've done that, I'm going to quickly go through the other four watersheds and set those the same. And with that done, I'm going to select my roadway. I'm going to right click and as I hover over drainage, I'll select add culverts from the resulting flyout. InfraWorks will begin the process of generating the culverts. This will take just a few minutes. And once it generates those culverts, it's going to place them along with their applicable skew, as well as the correct headwall shape and angle. You can see at each of these locations, I am showing a headwall with a culvert. Let's let that region. We can zoom in and take a look at this one. If I select that one, you'll see that I have the upstream and downstream information for the culvert, showing my headwater depth as well as the velocity both upstream and downstream. And in my inlet control, I'm showing flow per barrel. I can change my tailwater condition to update the culvert in real time. And I'd also like to run a report, a performance report for this particular culvert. Once I select a button to run the report, the report will display in my system internet browser. You can see here that the report opens in Opera, showing all of the data for my culvert, everything that I would need for a report to submit, as well as an interactive graph of the water surface profile. And now we have our drainage system with our culverts for this roadway.